General Yasui and the fight for justice will be shown as a work in progress at the upcoming Inspiring Action in, in Igniting Justice Symposium that will be held on April 23rd at the World Trade Center, Portland. So let's all please give a very, very warm welcome to Minnie Scholar Collins. Thank you very much. For those of you who knew Min Yasui, he was a great orator. But unfortunately, that's one of the characteristics that didn't get passed on to his daughter. <laughs> um, I do want to thank all the people who have made Minori Yasui Day a reality. Uh, the Oregon State Legislature, including Representative Brian Clem, Chair of the House Rural Commun Communities Committee, who initiated House Bill 4009. Uh, the other sponsors of the bill and the entire legislature, which passed the bill unanimously. I'd also like to mention Carol Suzuki, Operations Director, Senate Majority Office, and the ACLU, Kimberly McCullough, the Legislative Director. The Minori Yasui Tribute Committee, and you all know who you are, it's a number of people who've come together to work on this project but especially co-founder Peggy Nagai, who unfortunately is not here today, she's not well, but she has been a really driving force. She's been the heart of this, this project here in Oregon. Uh, and all the organizations and all the individuals who testified and who supported the bill. As for this march and the reception, my deepest thanks go to the Oregon Nikkei Endowment, especially Executive Director Lynn, Lynn Longfellow. <laughs> I almost said no PG. So please thank you very much, Lynn, and everybody else who has made this possible. For me, March 28th, which is now Minori Yasui Day in Oregon, will be a perpetual affirm affirmation of his legacy and for our community for generations to come. It's a day to remember and reflect upon the history of Japanese Americans in Oregon and the ongoing defense of civil rights of all people. As the Attorney General said, we're speaking about all people across cultural and generational lines. <clears throat> it's also the importance of speaking up and speaking out and acting upon our convictions, truly in the spirit of my father, Minori Asui, in order to create a better world. Thank you. Min returned to Portland to reopen his wartime case in the U.S. Dis District Court of Oregon. And while his conviction was vacated, the court denied his request for an evidentiary hearing, which he appealed. His case was pending in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals when he died in 1986. The lead attorney for his case, um, as Holly mentioned, isn't able to be with us today, but I wanted to make sure that we mention um, Peggy Nagai uh, with Holly. She co-founded the Minoru Yasui tri Tribute Project that led to the efforts on behalf of the Presidential Medal of Freedom in the passage of Min's Bill. And throughout the decades, Peggy has really embodied Min's spirit and ideals, and she lifts everyone else up by, um, by challenging you to be to be your best, and she inspires everyone by example. So there is absolutely no doubt that Min's long overdue recognition has finally come through the fortitude, perseverance, leadership, and heart of Peggy Nagai. So I hope she feels all that great energy that we're sending out to her right now. But I, I wanted to mention, um, mention Peggy. In closing, we'd like to express again our special thanks to Heath and Garland for their special reenactment of Min's Arrest, to Sharon Ogata, who is our caterer for the, re the reception, which follows immediately, and you're, you're in for a real treat, um, and also to Homer and Miki Yasui for generously hosting the reception. We also wanted to give special thanks to Keith Ketterling and Josh Ross, and Stoll Byrne 
for graciously opening up their office, uh, office space to host the event, and also to Barry and Jordan Menashe uh, for hosting space for the event as well. And lastly, I want to thank all of you for making this day so special and for being here to celebrate the very first Minoru Yasui Day in Oregon, sharing this walk on the day that he made his walk. But it's important to remember that we are not at the finish line. And with that, I'd like to leave you with a favorite quote of Min's. We are born into this world for a purpose, and that is to make it a better place. So Min's example endures as a reminder of the power of one voice echoing for justice. One person, one action can and does make a difference. So we ask all of you today to continue on this walk the best way that we can honor Min Yasui is to follow in his footsteps and to continue his fight for justice for all. So thank you again for coming, and we'd like to see you all upstairs. The reception follows. Um, it's on the fourth floor of the offices. There's a stairway. There's also elevators. <laughs>